Hey, what's going on guys? Kevin Walsh from Ninja Holistic Health and Fitness. I want to talk to you today about the five stages of weight loss transformation that occur in the mindset when you're going from point A to point B. This is something that I learned a number of years ago when I lost 50 pounds and I found it to be very, very helpful for people when they're trying to go through this process to understand how it really works so that you don't revert back to old habits and then gain the weight back later. Now, most exercise and diet programs, of course, revolve around what you do physically, but remember this, the mind is what makes decisions and the body carries them out. Your mind makes decisions, your body carries them out. So we have to fix the mind first before we start addressing what you're eating and how you're moving. So the first stage is denial. When you are first on the path to losing weight, we tend to be in denial of the things that are actually being done in our lifestyle that hold us back. So this could be something like being sedentary, eating foods that are not good for us, drinking too much alcohol. We tend to justify and say to ourselves something like, well, it's only this once, I don't do it that often. And we also tend to go to things that we're more familiar and comfortable with doing. So if our diets are poor, but we like to exercise, we typically tend to think, oh, I just need to run it off. I need to, I need to do more cardio. And if it's the opposite and we eat well, but we don't like to move, then our minds tend to go to, oh, I just need to calorie count more or something along those lines. So the first thing is you need to be front and center clear with what you're doing that's not giving you the results that you're looking for. That takes you out of denial and puts you into the second stage. The second stage is victimhood. Now, once we recognize that we have a problem, what we tend to do is we think of the outside world as doing things to us. Oh, it's not my fault. Uh, you know, my parents did this to me. Or, you know, my, my work environment isn't conducive and there's always food there and it's always outside of us. We tend to think that we don't have control and someone else or something else is responsible for our decisions now. This is very, very difficult to get out of because the victimhood mentality makes us feel like we don't have the ability to do something and so we go into self-pity. So what you have to do here is not only recognize that you're doing things that aren't conducive to losing weight, you have to look at it as you are the controlling person in your life. You're making the decisions, you are where you are because you put yourself here. That's an empowering thing because it takes ownership of the decision-making process and it helps you realize, hey, if I put myself here, I can take myself out and I can make better decisions. It's up to me to do it. That takes you to step three. So now that you know you have a problem and you know that you're the one in charge to change it, you go into what I call limbo. Stage three is limbo. Limbo is where basically you know that you're not living well, your lifestyle needs changing, but you can't seem to get yourself to do something different. I know I need to exercise, I'm sedentary, but I can't get myself to actually do a workout program. Now when you're in this stage, you have no forward momentum. So the key to getting momentum is taking small baby steps in the right direction. So what could this look like? If you're trying to exercise, instead of going from zero to full-blown workouts four to five days a week, because almost nobody can sustain that over a long period of time, what you do instead is try to take one exercise, like a push-up against the wall, something nice and easy, and do five repetitions. That's it. So it's not gonna be burning your arms, it's not gonna be challenging, but what it does is it helps you to build the habit. Every single day, I'm gonna do these five push-ups. After you do this for three or four weeks, you're gonna have this habit ingrained, and then you can add another thing, and another thing, and another thing. And little by little, you're snowballing to the point where you're actually building a healthy exercise regimen. So this is how you get out of limbo and into the fourth stage, which is momentum. When you get noticeable momentum, you're gonna to start to see little results. Your body's gonna start changing, your mind is gonna be more focused, and you're gonna recognize that the person that you're trying to become is starting to come full force. It's like a ball rolling down the hill. The key at this stage is to keep hammering the nail against, uh, keep hammering the nail into the wall, the proverbial nail. Keep hitting it, keep hitting it. Don't stop. The momentum has to keep going through the repetition of the behavior that you're trying to foster. And then once you get to a certain point, that will sort of carry itself. And it's no different than when you drink a cup of coffee, let's say in the morning. You don't have to force yourself to drink a cup of coffee. It's sort of automatic. You just go right to it. This is the exact same thing. This is how you build to that point. Once you have momentum built, the fifth and final stage is pure conviction. And pure conviction is the opposite of doubt. It means that no matter what I know, 
I am going to get a full workout in today when I wake up. Nothing's going to stop me from doing that. I know that if a cookie is put in front of me, I'm not going to eat it. That level of conviction that no matter what, like LeBron James knows he can make a three-pointer. Tom Brady knows he can throw a football. There's no doubt in their mind because they've done it so many times and the practice has been put in and given them so much momentum that they're at that point that they are totally in control. And that's the stage you want to get to is stage five, conviction. Notice how in the beginning it was all doubt and at the end here is conviction. And the key is to bridge the gap. You have to have belief in your mind that you can do something. As long as there is a doubt in your mind, eventually it's only a matter of time before you revert back to old habits and then you revert to your old self image and the body gains the weight back. So in conclusion here, make sure you're really focusing on these five stages. This is what the underpinning is of weight loss. Follow this continuum and I promise you the things that you eat, the exercises, the sleeping patterns that you have, the way that you handle your stress, all these other things are going to fall into place on themselves. They're actually really easy. You have to just master this part right here. So that underpinning is, is kind of the secret sauce of weight loss. So with that said, my email is kwninjatrainer at gmail.com. I'm always happy to answer questions that people have regarding health and fitness. And weight loss is something I'm very, very passionate about because I know exactly how this works. And there is so much BS out in the industry teaching people what really is surface level when the underpinning that I just described is what is the real deal that's going to get you the results you want long term. And if you're interested in working with me one on one, I have two spots available right now in the new year. So my number is 609-577-1913. You can text me, call me or email me anytime and uh, talk about getting together for putting a consultation for you if you are interested. So with that said, stay healthy and fit guys. Good luck on your journey and I'll catch you on the next video.